Greetings, gentle viewers. I am William Robert William de Jour. And I am Mordecai St. Clair. It is time once again for the irrefutably important and insightful dining review. Indeed it is. Yesterday we had a rather unenjoyable dining experience at a restaurant most foul, one that I strongly recommend our viewers avoid at all costs. Undoubtedly, the offensive establishment he speaks of is a, shall I say, hole in the wall, christened with the rather unfortunate name McDonald's. It was a dining hall most atrocious, if I do say so. Indeed, it has earned our worst rating, the double dissatisfied humph. Humph. Most deserved. Indeed. Was this a bit harsh, you think? No, no, not at all. Indeed. Most deserved. Upon our arrival, we were slightly dismayed to find that our valet did not promptly come out to the parking lot. Yes. This occurred despite the fact that we sat with our means of transportation running and our vehicle's valet signal honking for over one half of one hour. We managed to find a small microphone speaker system that we assumed was thus placed in order to gather our AWOL valet. However, the voice on the other side insisted that we place our order. This much dismayed our dining party. Wherefore should we order outside of this establishment? Nonetheless, we ordered. I ordered a rather odd concoction known as McNuggets that came with a rather large serving of french fried potatoes. Wherefore should I desire so many french fried potatoes, I ask you? I know not. Nor do I. I ordered a hamburger that is apparently the speciality at this establishment. It is titled the Big Mac. I was confounded as well by the presence of so many french fried potatoes. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Indeed. How, gentle viewers, you ask, did we manage to gather our provisions at such a peculiar location? T'was quite a journey. Indeed, we entered the establishment and waited again for someone to seat us. Ultimately, a young girl informed us that we could approach the counter and order our meals. We then informed the young strumpet. Yes, strumpet. We had already ordered our meals and that we were simply seeking a means to receive it. This caused an incredible amount of confusion amongst the staff. Indeed. We found this most troublesome. Yes, most troublesome. What is so difficult about a party of gentlemen wishing to receive the food they had recently ordered outside at the ordering window? Indeed. What is so difficult indeed? Indeed. After much converse with the manager, we were escorted to the best seats in the building. Yes, and here we may say something that is favorable about this unlucky institution. Yes, the seating arrangements were quite accommodating. They're referred to as, I believe, booths which Mordecai and I are not accustomed to. Certainly not, but the change was welcome. Let us dispense with the niceties, though. Indeed. The food was atrocious. Atrocious indeed. It was delivered to us by the manager, who seemed quite interested in whether or not we had ever visited this establishment before. I had difficulty answering the man, as most of my body had gone into shock from the first bite of the McNuggets, or as I ought to refer to them as owl pellets, which I originally had taken them for. Yes, t'was quite a shock to taste something so god-awful and accursed. My tongue and my soul were united in utter rebellion, raging against the prospect of consuming more. The McPellets were like ashes in my very mouth. The Big Mac was, how shall I say, an insult on my palate. Yes, an insult on all palates, worldwide. An insult to all who enjoy the consumption of food. An insult to all that enjoy life on this very earth. Yes, the greasy life-smothering drivel made me feel as though I was approaching my dying day at tenfold the rate I am accustomed to. Indeed. We finished our provisions and briefly discussed the prospect of summoning the manager in order to vomit on his shoes. We ultimately ruled the option infantile. Yes. Instead, we decided to leave at once and find a cup of tea and some gentle fellowship. And perhaps some gentle ladies, yes? Ah, yes. That is always an auspicious prospect. Indeed. Now here our excursion took a drastic turn for the better. Indeed. The next establishment we visited was a thousandfold better than the first. That accursed place that we shall never mention again. Indeed. Much better than that. 
It was a donut shop owned presumably by a man named Duncan. Who spelled his name rather curiously, actually. Yes, that was curious. Nonetheless, this establishment was first rate. Indeed. There was a distinct aroma of coffee in the air, mixed with a certain je ne sais pas. Ammonia. Oh, yes. It made for most pleasant atmospherics. And the selection was extraordinary. Indeed. I had a delightful beverage called a culotta. It most certainly topped my usual post-dinner beverage. A glass of brandy? Yes, mixed with the slightest bit of arsenic. Of course, my maid doesn't know that I know that she puts it in there. I simply lack the heart to tell her that I know of her plans. Yet, that is neither here nor is it there. True. We were discussing our enjoyable time at Sir Duncan's House of Donuts. My culotta was incredibly delicious. Let us leave it at that. I procured my beverage from a cooler, conveniently placed near the register. It was some kind of chocolate drink. I found it reasonably priced and adequately delicious. The establishment was quite a welcome change, in other words. Yes, to be brief. Indeed. And we should be brief, for our producer is giving us a signal that we should speed things up. Correct? Quite so. Well, then. Indeed. McDonald's receives our double dissatisfied humph. <laughs> and Duncan's Donuts receives our vague gesture of approval. With approving noise. Ah. ah. So please, viewers, bestow them with your disposable income. Indeed. Until next time, I'm William Robert William DeJour. And I'm Mordecai St. Clair. Bon chance, and as always, bon appétit! <laughs> <laughs>